I gotta tell you, again, you are definitely not joining my party for the end game because I know at the end of the game I get to choose two party members from the previous ones. I don't know anything else. I just know that because the achievements told me. And I gotta tell you, Gage, you are definitely not making the cut. Now then, I'll keep an eye on things here. Could you return to Rouen and report back to Jean? That's fine with me, but are you sure you'll be okay? Come on, I just got a whiff of sleeping powder is all. It all happened a little too fast for me to remember who attacked me, though. Pretty shameful, I know. Don't beat yourself up over it. You still managed to fend off four attackers. The children are safe thanks to you. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> well, I guess there's that at least. Still, will a gate be okay facing them alone? I know he's tough and all, but it still worries me. If they somehow manage to get the drop on him, maybe. We'll just have to trust that he knows what he's doing. He's been after those guys for a while now, I guess. Does he know how they work? I mean, anyway. We'll just have to focus on what we can do. You're exactly right. I'll hang on to the donated money until the matron wakes up. If those guys want it, they'll have to pray it from my cold, dead fingers. You can't count on me. Or you can count on me, I mean. You definitely can. The opposite of cannot. I'll be fine, so go ahead. <laughs> Were those guys picking on Polly and the other kids? You gotta make them pay! You just can't let people who pick on everyone get away with it. Okay, yeah, I definitely miss an, an opportunity by rushing there instead of going to town with the gate. Oh well. <laughs> Too late now. The crooks were holed up in the lighthouse? I hope Mr. Vogue is okay. Like, I'm long past even pretending I'm getting to get everything, so... I'm just glad that the arsonists have been caught. I'm impressed with you bracers. It's a good thing we had you to depend on. Ah, uh, the bracers. You have apprehended the criminals, correct? If there's anything we can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Oh, that reminds me. Did I get my stuff back from a gate? Um, okay, well, I did. I have HP 2s. I think I did anyway. I have two defense 2s. I did. Okay. I was pretty sure that was how it worked, but I wanted to double check to make sure. I heard that the arsonist was caught. I think he should experience some street justice before he's turned over the, to the guild. Maybe a good stoning? I mean, he's already been shot, so... The arsonist was caught. I'd like to talk to the bastard and take the bastard into the mountains to teach him a lesson or two about survival. <laughs> so the criminals have finally been caught. That should put my friend's mind a little more at ease. I feel pretty good about it, too. Okay, seriously, I feel like if we left them alone, that the town would lynch them. <laughs> have I eaten this? I have. I didn't actually talk to them, did I? Well... Oh my. Hello again. I heard from the innkeeper that the criminal has been arrested. You keep helping us so much and have no way to repay you. You really don't need to worry. It's nothing to be embarrassed over. Really. It's probably better not to tell her everything, though. We're going back to ruin for a little bit so we can deliver our report. 
Carla is keeping an eye on the prisoners, so you can relax on that. Thank you so much. Oh, Mrs. Sell! Did you really find those guys and beat them up? Awesome! Okay. Um... I haven't actually talked to you. I think I've seen the person who did this before. I have to wonder if it was the mayor's personal steward. I must be mistaken though, it seems too crazy to be possible. Arsonists were caught? That's a relief, but it's still sad. I don't think the kids will ever completely heal from that. The suspect is at the Windmill Lodge. He should be made to personally apologize to the children before he's handed over to the guild. Don't you agree? Oh, no, I already... buy a couple of this and that. I have plenty of money, so... Oh. Ah, steak is so expensive! Also pretty expensive. Wine is expensive. Okay, wine being expensive, I get. Um, I'm not so. Uh, hmm. Also, rice. Well, I have plenty of that anyway. Dalmore was behind everything. He was just pretending to be all cutting and everything from the start. Um, I've been kind of wondering about this, but will we be able to catch the mayor this time? She raises a good question. This may be difficult. The Bracer Guild has a non-interference policy when it comes to government affairs. And considering he has control over the whole region, arresting the mayor isn't going to be easy. I mean... Someone burnt down the orphanage, and burning down the orphanage is not a is a criminal affair and not a government affair. Although the motivation behind it was certainly political. That's why the guild can have branches everywhere, even in the empire. Anyway, let's just get to the guild and talk to Jean. John, even. I think he'll have some useful advice for us. Okay. I'm fine, don't worry about me. We just need to make the man in charge pay his tab. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Let's go visit, wait. Yeah, let's go visit the orphanage. Cause why not? I feel like it. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? There is no one here. Okay, well, it only took like 30 seconds. Oh, that's a rock. You see, that's what I get for watching my map and not where I'm actually going. Which is a habit I tend to do in games like this. Okay. 
And it is also why I can never use a GPS when I'm driving. <laughs> Actually, though, like, seriously, it's not a good idea. Um, what is it, Chloe? Well, are you two going to the guild? I do remember something I need to do, so can you go ahead about me? Chloe, what are you gonna do, Chloe? I'll catch up to you shortly. That's fine. Are you going back to campus then? Yes. I think I should report to the headmaster and let him know what's happening. Okay, you got it. We'll be waiting for you at the guild. Um... Don't turn around. Don't turn around. No, Chloe, don't do it. Don't do it, Chloe. This ought to do it. See? Oh no. Oh no! I understand. It's just hard to believe that Mayor Del Moore is behind these recent events. Hmm, this is certainly a major incident. So, Jean, do you think the mayor can be caught? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be rather difficult. The only way it will really happen is if he can be caught in the act. So, we, can de we have definitely caught his assistant in the act. So that's something, but you can't be serious. So we just have to allow a corrupt mayor to stay in power? Now, now, there's no need to panic. The Braces Guild hands may be tied, but the Royal Army can get them. Oh. Estelle, Joshua, I'd like you to go to the mayor's estate and question him. It doesn't matter if he gets angry. I just want you to buy us some time. And you'll contact the Royal Guard? Precisely. I'll contact the Fortress with horrible communications and request assistance. I don't like having to rely on the army, but I don't see any other option. Okay, once Chloe catches up, we'll go see the mayor at once. What you do, Chloe? What did you do? Well, I'm pretty fast on my feet. What's the plan? We have to stall him while the Royal Army is contacted. Maybe that wasn't so necessary after all. Hmm? Oh yes, please allow me to accompany you. Just leave it to me. Okay, at least I didn't miss a job. Love that money. Yeah, okay, got it. I will definitely get on that eventually. Carla was assigned to security for the festival, but she hasn't come back yet. Maybe she's still busy with something? You could say that. I can't wait to go back this. Um. Okay. The harbor master Portos is quite a popular fellow. I wonder why we have the fondest memories of times we'll never see again. I heard some talking, and it was some weird guy with really strange hair. He looked like he had plenty of Mira, but he was really self-important and rude. Definitely didn't measure up to your average Ruanian. He must be a tourist. Anything new? That's new. At least I don't have one. Unless I'm using it right now? Wait. Chloe, what are you equipped with it? Flame bird. Okay, well, I mean, I don't have it, so... I'll buy it. And I will not use it. I used to be a fisherman. 
eldest until the mayor pushed for the town's focus to change to tourism. My wife suggested that I become a tour guide instead. I'm talking about Mr. Norman, the owner of the hotel. He bought an old inn and turned it into a hotel, you now see. He apparently got along well with the mayor, since he helped get our job for guides. Ha! Ah. Mom and Dad both have today off from work. I'm gonna play for as long as I can. If anyone just goes and takes that boat, I'm going to be so angry. If I could just take out a boat, where would it be the best place to go? I wonder if the Breezes Guild could recommend it. Interesting thought. Maybe they could. The people living in Rouen seem to be quite busy. I think that may be the sole reason that Rouen still survives. The mayor has been so busy that he hasn't even had time to appear at church. No one is down here. Rumor has it that a duke is here to inspect the area. But if he is, I haven't seen him at all. I have seen an old man in nice clothes who talks funny, though. Ha! The current owner of the hotel is named Norman. He lives in a house in the southern block. He put a lot of work into expanding the tourist trade. I wonder what else the mayor has done in the pursuit of tourism. Hmm. I got some of those bad feelings. Right now? Just generally not lovely ones. Aha, uh -huh, there is someone up here. There have been boys running all over the place lately. I don't know what the world's coming to. I've been around for quite some time, so I know what's what. Okay, so I feel that I figured there's two main possibilities for what Chloe did. Either her relative her rich relatives are someone really important. Who would have the way to disembowel a mayor, or at least the means to get that moving? Or she opened a lynch mob, started a lynch mob. It's I think it's definitely one of those two things. Ain't no such thing as the surefire fishing spot where the fish will always bite without fail. Got to see how the dam looks and figure out how to handle it yourself. No one's gonna just hand you the answers. Gotta go find them on your own. That's what a good fishing spot is all about. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no good excuse for not fishing. Hmm, this is another touristy place. Hey there! Looks like you got the whole maintenance kit thing sorted out. He seems to be just fine. He sends his regards. Does he now? Good, good. Age eventually gets the best of all of us. Sounds like he's still hanging in there, though. I really appreciate it. Good luck out there. Um, oh, hey, that heals KO. I'll take two, please. I probably could have made my own for cheaper, actually. Whatever, too late now. The mayor is helping out the tourism industry a lot. But the budget for the port facilities has been gradually cut. The folks who aren't happy about that are getting more insistent. 
This continent is a big place, with a lot of different countries and people. Perhaps you and Lotta will get your chance to travel the land someday. It's important to spend time with different cultures and learn more about them. That is, if you want to be a well-rounded adult like me. <laughs> Have it? Okay. has its headquarters in Grantsville. I've been to the main office once for training. Is there anyone? No, there's no one down here. There's someone up there. Uh, I hate it when it's all gloomy like this. Live's pretty good at designing stuff, but when it comes to the fixing part, well... I received a commune... a communique from the main office about R&D work. It was good news, but still... He hasn't said anything. But if he heard about it from Edwin, Fly wants to develop a new Zessian Orbital Engine model. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay. Now then, if I go back to Boyce, I'll have a ton of work waiting for me. So much for my vacation. I'd better watch my tone though. I don't want to make Mirano angry. lighthouse was lit until this morning. What happened? I doubt that old vault was nodding off like usual. Like I usually do. The next voyage is supposed to be a shipment of ornate goods from the Empire. The port there is crowded with military ships. It makes it hard to concentrate. Even now, I still get tense when I have to dock there. Way back when, the port had better government funding. It's been pretty rough lately, but Chief Portus never gives up. The mayor gave the order to stop all work at the port. If Chief Portos can't talk him out of this, we're in trouble. Ruin still needs a port! Have the oatmeal. And... okay. I see you. I'm sorry for getting so angry earlier. I don't... I didn't know the full story. Horror tells me that my doppelganger truly was the spitting image of me. It's a shame, really. If you'd caught him, I could've made him do all the work around here and no one be the wiser. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. We haven't seen those delinquents around in the past few days. Maybe this is the mayor drove them out. Hmm. Man, that fake Portis was just the, like the real deal. Not just the way he looked, but even talked and moved the same way. It was downright creepy. The world's full of amazing people. Chief Portos has something on his mind again. When something's bothering you, I think it's best to relax. It can help you come up with a solution.
I'm not allowed in there. Um. Oh, I guess these have been locked as well. Wait, no, I just. It was the wrong door. No one is here! Which, you know, is what I expected, but I wanted to check. Some guy with a weird haircut and really ugly, gaudy clothes went into the mayor's estate. Which reminds me, I heard some kind of bigwig is staying somewhere in Ruan. Wait a second. Oh, I think I know what Chloe did. My husband is constantly worried these days. If he doesn't do something about it soon, he'll wind up completely at his wit's end. I think my son should put a little more pressure on him. I don't think he knows what he really wants. This constant tug of war between them is really getting on my nerves. I think I figured out what Chloe did. Um, and I'm gonna save to say it for when we get there. I know my husband is busy, but I wish he'd spend more time with our children. Oh? The biggest source of the changes in ruin have been the proliferate prolo proliferation of airships. When the airships stopped flying, a lot of folks cancelled their travel plans. It's already reached a point where ruin couldn't exist without those flying contraptions. Is that is that a vacuum cleaner? An orbital vacuum cleaner? I'd love it. Okay, um, to the estate. I'm not going to the fort. Man, this place is huge. Is he really doing all that nasty stuff for a place from a place like this? This nice, even? I think it came out the same way. Uh, I don't think that really matters. Mayor Delmore is originally from a large family of nobles. I think this estate has been passed down for generations. Okay, so the estate wasn't paid for and let at least. That's something. Anyway, we need to find them and question them. Time was important people used to come here. Important or not, they sure did up their hair funny. Okay, so, I'm pretty sure that the Duke is here right now. Welcome to the Ruan Mayor Bureau Estate. I'm terribly sorry, but the Mayor is currently attending to some guests. Perhaps you could come back another time. What? Now, hold on, just one second. I'm pretty sure we know who the guest is. It's Duke Dun Dunan, isn't it? Why, that's exactly it. Have you received an invitation as well? Yes. It came directly from the mayor himself. I apologize for the inconvenience, but would you mind? Now that I take a closer look, you appear to be bracers. If circumstances demand it, then please, go on up. The mayor and the duke are in the banquet hall on the second floor. Excellent. Thank you for your help. Oh, right. W with so many guests arriving, I really must prepare some tea. <laughs> Joshua just flirted his way in. I love it! More or less. Yep, that's definitely true. It wasn't a line. He did invite us over the first time we met him. If those ravens start making trouble, trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know. Or something like that. 
Well, why don't we head on up to the banquet hall? Oh, no. Wait. Anyone over here? Not in there. Or in there. Aha! Oh dear. My little daughter seems utterly smitten. Oh, Joshua. You... Joshua. <laughs> la la. Oh, those piercing amber eyes. I swear, I could get lost in them. Joshua. <laughs> now, where is that Gilbert lad? I'd heard we had an important guest coming in. Where is Gilbert indeed? I must wonder what's being discussed behind these doors right now. The Master is speaking with Duke Duncan, you see. <laughs> it's, I like the sound of that! Ruin would be the perfect place for a vacation home. I think I might stay for a while. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd think so. I'll see to it that you get the finest place available, my lord. I believe you'll be quite satisfied. <laughs> you're, you're, you're quite the smooth talker. But, but good money. Money is no object. Prepare me an estate that is, that is worthy of your future king. Make it as splendid as you're holding here. Pardon me, my lord, but wait a moment. The queen asked you to consult with her before spending such an amount. Silence, Philip! I am going to be your next king! Well, that is just a fucking disaster in the waiting, isn't it? Such purchases are every day for a man of my standing. Yes, of course. Well said, your grace. We can get a written contract together shortly. But first, one more drink. Ho <laughs> oh. ho! Hi there! Greetings from the Bracer Guild. You. <laughs> what do you people want? You look kind of familiar. Oh, it's you. Hi, Mr. Butler. We just dropped by to talk to the mayor. No biggie. This won't do. If you're here in guild business, you should speak with some semblance of manners. I'm in the middle of an important discussion, so why don't you come back later? I apologize for our rudeness, Mayor. We intend no disrespect. Except for Estelle, she definitely intends it. We simply came to report to you that we have identified the arsonist. Ah, well, then I suppose. My lord, would you excuse us for a moment? No, no, s say what you're gonna say here. This sounds interesting. B -b but okay. Maybe the Duke will have something to add. It won't do any harm for him to hear this, will it? Well, if we must. While we're on the subject, it seems that Matron Theresa was attacked again last night. Could the arsonist be linked to that? It seems very likely. Unfortunately, the attackers are still at large. I see. Still, at least you say that you know who they are now. So, who did it? Who indeed? It's exactly who you think it is, Mayor Delmore. Ah, I see. That's quite a shame. I was hoping I could make them see the error of their ways before it was too late. I suppose that was in vain on my part. Huh? Who are you talking about, Mr. Mayor? Who? What do you mean, who? Why, the Ravens, of course. They've been hiding ever since last night. I'm sorry, sir, but they are not responsible. This time, they claim to be victims themselves. 
What? So, without further ado, the culprit is... Mayor Delmore! You, Mayor Delmore! We already have Gilbert in custody, and we know everything. We also have proof that you stole the money donated to restore the orphanage. Your lackey set on fire. Can you deny that charge? Nonsense! Do you think I know those people in the black clothes? We never mentioned any people in black clothing. Well now, that's a little strange. We didn't say anything about black clothing. This is absolutely ridiculous. Gilbert was acting alone. You don't know when to give up, do you, old man? We know you were plotting to build vacation homes in the land the orphanage occupied. Do you still deny the charges laid against you? Persistent little brats. But I've had those development plans in place for ages. They're just part of ruined city planning. What reason would I have to be so impatient that I'd resort to criminal acts? Well, how about a mountain of debts to pay off? What? Niall? What are you doing here? Seriously, what are you doing here? I've... <laughs> Let's see if I can still do this. It's been a while. Um... <laughs> I figured I'd come to the mayor's place to do some investigating when I see you two going in. The whole thing smelled fishy, so I decided to sneak in myself. That's it in a nutshell. I feel like that's not quite right, but it's close enough. Just who the hell are you? Oh, I'm a reporter with Liberal News. The name's Niall Burns. Actually, I've been checking into the city's financial affairs recently. And what do I see? Whether the Mayor Delmore here has been diverting funds from the city budget. I... that's... Oh, wait. So... <laughs> Their funds for the expansion project. He he has been um what what is the phrase? Um I don't remember. It is it is a white color crime, though. So. Um I'm not buying it. You haven't even started construction. I thought it was kind of strange, so I dug deeper, and I found links to the airship company's services. Now that was quite the little surprise. One year ago, you took more than a few trips to the Calvert Republic. I... I was just sightseeing. A reasonable claim. But the truth is that you've amassed a nice big debt over there, am I right? Um, you're losing me. How? By using town funds to speculate in risky commodities in the hopes of cashing in. Buying goods when they're cheap, selling them when they're high, that kind of thing. Embezzling, that's it. He's been embezzling funds from the city. Oh, I get it. So how much did he lose? From what my fellow reporters over there had told me? Something to the tune of 100 million Mira. <laughs> that's a hundred times the amount donated to the orphanage. I can certainly see why one might turn to crime over an amount that high. One hundred million? I'm pretty free of my spending, but I I've got nothing on you. Um, this isn't a competition, you know. Now that you mention it, oh, <laughs> he took funds from the city budget to pay off his debts and stave off any questions. But I can't understand why he would turn to arson and theft to build his vacation homes. It just all seems so random. <laughs> Where is your proof? Go ahead and run your story with all its wild speculations. I'll sue you and the newspaper for a little. Suddenly confident, are we? And you all! 
the Bracer Guild does not have the authority to arrest me. I am the mayor! I want you out of here now! I guess he's right. He knows he's right. Mayor, may I ask you one question? What now? What is a student of the Royal Academy doing, associated with such peaceful, disgraceful? Return to campus at once. Chloe looked Mayor Delmore directly in the eyes, her expression cold and stern. Why did you not use your own assets to pay off your debt? One hundred million Mira is certainly a lot of money. But I think that House Delmore surely has enough assets to settle the matter. This estate, for instance, it would easily sell for over a hundred million. D don't be ridiculous! This estate has been handed down to the Dalmore family for generations! How could I ever simply let it go? Okay, so you're a massive hypocrite as well. I mean, I suspect it, but it's nice to have it confirmed. The orphanage was no different. For many, it was a place to fondly remembered. No one has the right to destroy something like that. How could you do such a thing? H how dare you liken this estate to that dilapidated old hovel? You care for no one but yourself. More than being the mayor, or being the head of House Delmore. You pitiful man. <laughs> You have quite a way with words, young lady. But let's see if you'll change your tune in a few minutes. What's he doing? Oh! Fango! Ronco! Come! It's dinner to- Really? The Duke is in here! What the hell, man? You have, you have crossed the line, you've set monsters on us. We can definitely arrest you for this. <laughs> you've set monsters in the same room as the fucking crown prince. Unbelievable, you actually kept monsters as pets? <laughs> Everything you think you know will die with you here. Don't worry, if there's anything left of you, I'll dump it in the river. <laughs> He's crazy. So this, so is freaky fighting freaky monsters part of the stalling plan now? Well, at least now we can arrest him for trying to kill us. I'm sure the other stuff will stick too after this. I bear you both no ill will. But I will not allow you to harm anyone. Okay, I was actually worried we might need to protect Neil for this, so I'm glad that is not the case. Um. Let's just try and nuke him, see how that works. Oh shit, that hurt. Um. <laughs> Ooh, hey. Um. Honestly, not as effective as I was hoping. Right, so, Josh lost. Um... 
liquor. You can take this opportunity to use one of these things. I should probably cure Jockey's poison as well, actually. Um... Heal Joshua. With uh, one of these cure supports. That one. will probably not work. Unless I miss a whole lot, uh, then it will be not fine. Okay, you know, no, this is still, this is okay, it's okay, we'll just do that. Do it up, you, okay, that did hurt a lot, but, um, ha. Huh. I see, and, uh, look, uh, Let's do this. This should work. Unless I miss a game. Which I did. Please don't kill Josh. What did I just say? What did I just say? Okay, you, you can revive me. Now, can we please actually hit this? Thank you, Estelle. Thank you. We're good to go! Nice! It, it can't be! My sweet babies! How could you do this? You're one to talk! In accordance with the Brazier Guild protocol, and this time with authority, we're placing you under arrest. Surrender, and you will not be harmed. 
you leave me with no choice but to use my trump card. Huh? Time stop! I I can't move. Did he use an herbal art? N no, this has to be an artifact. So what the hell is that? Well, well, your knowledge is impressive, Miss Rins. This is the Cronus Rod, an artifact which happens to be a family heir heirloom. It can completely paralyze anyone within range in the blink of an eye. Th that's crazy! How does the church not know about such a powerful artifact? With a tool crafted by the wise ancients themselves, what else would one expect? Tactical ornaments can't even begin to compare to this. Sadly, it only has that one function. Which means I'll have to sell in my hands and dispose of you myself. <laughs> you should consider this an honor. Let's see. I think I'll start with the smart mouthed little brat first. Who are you calling smart mouthed? Perhaps I'll save the intelligent girl for last. <laughs> now, what was that you were saying about authority? You could plead for your lives. It might help, but I doubt it. To you? <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your filthy hands off. What's that? Keep your filthy hands off Estelle. Don't you harm a single hair on her head. Or I'll use every technique I know to cut your miserable carcass to pieces. What? J Joshua, you certainly talk big for someone who can't even wiggle his fingers. Fine, I'll start with you. Stop! I'll never let you get away with hurting him. Joshua, die. No! At uh, what? Damn it. If I could just reach for my camera! W what's going on? What that? What? What? I want to know as well. Estelle, what was that black light? I don't know. But I think it came from the ornament that Dad sent us. I impossible! My family heirloom, my artifact, it's broken! It hardly matters, since you've played your last hand. It's time to face reality. Y yeah I can't believe you'd really stoop this low. It's disgusting. And really raises the question of what he was planning on doing with the Crown Prince. I will not be taken in! Hey, wait up! I can't let a story like this get away! Oh my, I believe I've lost a few years of what little remains of my life. My lord, are you alright, my lord? M monsters! The monsters! <laughs> to get aboard. Will do. Alright. Sorry, Neil. You aren't fast enough. <laughs> hey, let me come too.
It seems our boat is faster than the yacht. Alright, we're closing in. The craft is small and lightweight, so we have the edge, it seems. Damn stubborn little... Take this! Yeah! <laughs> what? Them teach you not to underestimate a bracer. Just while. Blinkham on his right. Ha. The wind is blowing towards open water. It's catching the sails and giving them a boost. At this rate, the yacht is a clear advantage. We won't be able to catch up. Say what now? <laughs> Looks like Adios smiles on me today. I bid you farewell, brats. You've got to be kidding! We were so close! He's going to get away. There must be something we can do. They're here. What the heck is that? <laughs> all right. Getting away is all well and good. But what now? I guess I have no choice but to head to the Empire. Or, if I lay low for a while, maybe he... What? <laughs> the Royal Guards airship, a high-speed cruiser. Her name is the Arseal. Well, well, looks like we got here just in time. The blue and white uniform. Are you Her Majesty's Royal Guard? Precisely. I am the company commander, Julia Schwartz. Wait. Oh! Mayor Morris Del Moore of Rouen, I'm placing you under arrest for arson, robbery, embezzlement, and other charges. This is a dream. It has to be. No, 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 no. What's going on? Jean called the Royal Army for reinforcements. But how'd they get here so fast? <laughs> Who are their bracers? Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please, let us handle this matter. So, if I'm reading this right, um, Chloe's... This is Chloe's... I want to say aunt? I pressed Mayor Delmore for information once he regained consciousness, but he apparently can't remember anything regarding the past few hours, if he remembers them at all. He's also drawing a complete blank about the arson and robbery. Really? Kind of like the leader of the Sky Bandits. Maybe it's related to those men in black from before. Well, even if he can't remember, the crimes are pretty clear-cut. It should go about saying that we'll be checking on his steward, too. If we uncover anything, we'll be sure to let the Bracer Guild know. We appreciate it. By the way, Lieutenant, I have a favor to ask. What might that be? Would it be at all possible for me to get on board that ship as well? It's supposed to be one of the most advanced airships ever to come out of Zeus. It'd make for a great story, and I really need one. I'm afraid not. The seal was only just completed, and it's still undergoing flight testing. 
I must ask you not to comment on her at all until she's officially unveiled. What? Oh, come on! You've got to at least give me something about the mayor and his steward being arrested. Don't worry. The facts of the story will be given over to the Royal News Agency. Until then, please refrain from reporting any of this. <sighs> what choice do I have? Alright, I can do this. I can write a story with even the barest scrap of info. Olive. I've got to hurry back to the agency and put these events on paper. If you'll pardon me, everyone. Well, he's his u in his usual high spirits. <laughs> what would you expect from him? I'm told that the Flippo News circulation has increased dramatically of late. I hope he's not planning to write a big propaganda piece. What do you mean? Never mind. That was quite impressive, First Lieutenant Schwartz. It's the Intelligence Division. Oh, I remember you. I presume you are the new bracers we killed Spoka. Er. Oh, so you were the one Sean got in touch with, Colonel Richard? Yes. I received word of Leston Fortress, where the Royal Fortress forces are stationed. I got here as quickly as I could, only to find the crisis had passed. Excellent work, Lieutenant. That's very kind of you, sir. I, still, I wonder, what would bring the guards of the Royal City here, and so quickly? Perhaps you know of a route so secret that even our intelligence division isn't aware of it. Surely you jest. <laughs> Come now, Captain. This is hardly a time to pick a fight. It was si I was simply admiring the proactive stance of the Royal Guardsmen. It's good to have you on our side. If it please you, Lieutenant, we'll take over the investigation from here and move matters to Lustin Fortress. I believe the mayor will attend to there. Will be well attended there. Yes, sir, I understand. Now if you excuse us, ladies and gentlemen of the Bracey Guild and Royal Army, and the young lady in the uniform. Fate willing, I think we shall see each other again. And with that, I bid you farewell. Safe travels, everyone. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but did the colonel look like he was eyeballing Chloe? Oh, was he? I'm sure it's just because he doesn't see students very often in his line of work. I wouldn't make too much of it. Okay, so, Chloe, there are two possibilities for Chloe. Either she is related to the head of the Royal Guard, or she is a royal. Those are the only possibilities here. That's probably it. That's not the impression I got at all. I'm certain he's just as surprised as you are. It's hard to believe that Brace is so young would be so capable. He might be scouting you out to become part of the world of... Uh, okay. Oh, come on, don't flatter us. We had a lot of help on this case. You needn't be so modest. You're not full-fetched braces yet, but I presume you wish to become so. Well, yes, we're in training for it. We intend to travel all over the country before the Queen's birthday celebration as part of our preparations. I see. You're protecting self-study, then. Lieutenant Schwartz! Everything is ready for the CO's departure. Acknowledged. Estelle and Joshua, and Chloe too, of course. We must be leaving soon. I hope that our paths will cross again. Yes, ma'am. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Atten regiment, attention! 
Whoa! Will Gersman worship us stale. Prepare for takeoff. That thing is really cool. A salute and the fanfare to go with it. That's a little overwhelming. And that state of their ship to boot. But I guess you'd expect as much from the defenders of Her Majesty. <laughs> True. Lieutenant Schwartz sure is cool, though. She kind of reminds me of that character Chloe played, Oscar the Knight. I think so, too. What an odd coincidence. Oh, don't tell me the Royal Guardsman showed up. And the Arcillias was there, too. She's supposed to be cutting edge. It's too bad I just worked the info desk. I'd have liked to see that. I never figured you for the military enthusiast. Still, don't you end up speak didn't you end up speaking to Colonel Richard? Yes, he was on duty at Lustin HQ. I don't know how the Royal Guardsman got here so quickly though. I guess there's a lot more cross communication in the military than I thought. Amazing they managed to communicate at all, given how many agencies there are. Regular, border control, intelligence, the guardsmen. It must be pretty complicated. Cleaning up after an incident like this will be a major undertaking. What will happen to the administration of Rouen from now on? Since the mayor's been arrested. I imagine they'll be sending in act someone as acting mayor. If Dalmore is found guilty, elections will be held. Plus, Reparations will probably be made towards the orphanage. Thank goodness. All of this is thanks to Estelle and Joshua. Thank you so much, truly. Come on, you don't have to be so formal. We just did what was right. Plus, it wasn't just us. A gate played a big part, too. Speaking of... Have you received any word from him? Uh, yes, but I'm afraid he wasn't able to capture the men in black. They were not alone, apparently. A gate was ambushed. What? Is he alright? He managed to defeat them. I believe that he gave chase, and they were on their way to Z Zeiss. By now, he's probably well outside of Rouen. Wow, talk about hardcore. Well, he's got plenty of experience after all. He's been chasing those black clad characters for a while. I think they're related to a job your father asked him to do. And the gate just did what he asked? Well, the one to put a gate of the ravens in his place was none other than Cassius himself. And whatever he might like to claim, a gate stood no chance against him. Whoa, seriously? Cassius really beat some sense into him, and the gate's too stubborn to simply say thanks and leave it. Maybe that's why he's so abrasive when it comes to us. Abrasive barely covers that guy's attitude. <laughs> I guess he's not so high and mighty where Dad's involved, huh? Oh, speaking of your father... Is something wrong? Um, what about the black ornament that lit up and saved our lives? So much has been going on that I forgot all about it. I wonder what that was all about. The ornament may have saved our skins, but it was still weird. An unusually colored or ornament, hmm? What can you tell me about it? Well... Yep. Oh my, that's quite a story. Hmm. From K asking about a Professor R. Could it be? Not specifically. I've got a hunch, but nothing to back it up. But if you want to know more about its origin, I suggest going to Zeiss. As you know, Zeiss is famous for the manufacture of ornaments. 
There must be someone there who must know something about your ordinance. Makes sense. We may never learn about the Black Ornament without consulting an expert. But we still have more training here to finish. <laughs> well, about that, you may want to prepare yourselves. What? Really? You had to have seen this coming. I mean, you got a recommendation from Bose after the Sky Bandit incident. Given your crucial roles in all the cases recently, I see no reason not to reward it. Your assessment and reward has been prepared too. Ooh, that is nice. Um, so much money. Did not level up though. Wow, all this on top of the pay for performing at the campus festival? Thank you for everything you've done for us. Come now, you've earned it. I confess, I'd also like to see you advance as quickly as possible. I believe we we're able to make the best use of your talents this way. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Jean. Yeah. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations. Congratulations, both of you. It'll be kind of lonely here without you, though. Chloe... You're right. It'll be tough to say goodbye. Oh, please don't mind me. I'm just being selfish. Would you please tell me when you find out what day you're leaving? I'd like to see you off, at least as far as the Air Legend checkpoint. We did it! Yay! Chapter 2 ends. Now, if only, now imagine if I'd only done that, like, back in July. <laughs> yes, we will save. And we will save a new slot. And I will actually end it there. I was considering going a little bit longer, but since we literally just got the end cha of chapter, I feel like it's appropriate to stop here. So, uh, hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed playing. And, uh, until next time. Which will hopefully be much, much sooner than, like, what, fuck, five months? Ugh. It'll definitely be sooner than five months. Maybe, maybe like a week. <laughs> Until next time, bye!